So, hello everybody. This time we're doing the last lesson of the science book. So, we're doing lesson 6.4, Adaptations of Predators and Prey. We are going to describe adaptations of predators and prey. Use secondary information sources to research questions. Group predators and prey according to their adaptation. Getting started, match the predators with their prey in the pictures. So the animals are a lizard, a fly, uh, whatever that is, a bird, a polar bear, a seal, a spider, what, what is that again? It's not important. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. The key words are blend in, camouflage, pack, quills, team, venom, teamwork, and weapon. Predators and prey. A cheetah. Oh, that thing over there was a cheetah. A cheetah has adaptations which make it a very successful predator. A cheetah can run 112 kilometers per hour, more than four times faster than the human running at top speed. A cheetah has a streamlined shape to help it run this fast. Its eyes are in front of its head so that the cheetah can judge distance well. When the cheetah is crouched low, watching its prey it is well camouflaged. This is because its colors blend in with the dry grass environment. The springbok is the prey. Springboks stay together in large groups. This is their most important adaptation to avoid being caught and eaten. But there is often a springbok that gets left behind the group. Our woods cannot run so fast. These are the animals that the predator hunts and kills. All predators have an adaptation to help them catch their prey. All prey animals have, a, have adaptations to avoid being caught. Adaptations of predators. Examples of Adaptations that predators have are speed, streamlined body shape, camouflage, venom, trapping, a very good eyesight, a good sense of smell, sharp, powerful teeth, sharp claws, teamwork, a good sense of hearing. Questions. Which adaptation from the list on the previous page do you think a spider has to make it a successful predator? Here are some more examples. The chameleon can shoot its tongue out so far and so fast that the beetle doesn't stand a chance. Can you swap the chameleon in a right-handed photograph? So it's here. It's this photograph. Can you swap the chameleon? Chameleons use camouflage to hide from their prey. Many snakes, like the cobra in the photograph, have venom. The cobra spritz its venom on it to its prey to kill it. What other adaptations does the snake have that you can see in a photograph? Other snakes bite their prey and inject them with venom. Other animals, such as scorpions, also poison their prey with venom. Eagles have very good eyesight. They can spot its prey when it is three kilometers away. 
They also have sharp talons for gripping their prey. What other adaptations can you see on a photograph of an eagle that will help the eagle to catch its prey? Wild hunting dogs hunt in a group or pack. The dogs work in a team to surround their prey. Dogs and bears also have a very good sense of smell. They can smell their prey long before they can see it. What sort of adaptations do the dogs in the photo photograph have which will help them to catch their prey? Think like a scientist. Group predators according to their adaptations. So the predators are a crocodile, a bird, maybe it's an eagle, a spider, dolphins, a scorpion, lions, a shark, and a polar bear. Work with a partner. Copy the table. Decide what adaptations each of these predators has. Most predators will have several of the adaptations. Take the correct boxes. Oh, that's an alligator. And that's a falcon, okay. So the, so the adaptations are teamwork. See when I'm safe for sleep. Eyes in front of head. Trapping. Sharp teeth, good eyesight, camouflage, venom, good sense of smell. So here are the predators. Here are the predators again. Which scientific entry skill did you practice in this activity? If you are not sure, refer to the working like a scientist section at the beginning of this book. Choose a predator that has not been mentioned in this book. Do some research. List all the adaptations your chosen predator has. Bring your information to share with the class. How are we doing? How did you and your partner manage this activity? How well did you settle this agreement? Answer well, quite well, or not well for each question. Adaptations of prey. Prey animals need to either defend themselves in some way or attack their predator. Defense. Hiding. Hiding from a predator is one way of defense. You saw how a chameleon uses camouflage to bend grunt in with, the, with its surroundings so that it can catch its prey. But it also does the same thing from hiding from its predators. Other animals use camouflage to hide. Look how well this moth and this fish blend into their surroundings. Try and find a moth in the top picture and the fish in the bottom picture. If you look closely, they will be easy quite easy to spot but if you don't then uh it just looks like a background defense staying in a group many animals stay in a group for safety the grass eaters such as zebras antelopes and wildebeest are prey for predators such as lions and cheetahs they stay in large groups. Sometimes animals in the group have lookout duty and have to warn the rest of the group with a special sound if they see a predator. Fish often stay in big groups to defend themselves from bigger fish that eat them. Look at all these sardines defending themselves from dolphins. Bees live in big groups in a hive. Bees use smell as a signal. 
If a predator comes close to the beehive, the guard bees give off a special smell. They beat their wings to spread the smell. Other bees join the guard bees to defend the hive. Defense. Protection. Turtles and turtles are very slow movers, but they have a hard shell. When a predator approaches, they pull their head un in under their shell for protection. Defense. Seeing sideways. Many prey animals have eyes on the sides of their heads. This allows them to see a predator on both sides of them. Lizards, antelopes, and fish are examples. Defense. Getting away fast. Being fast is a good way to escape from your enemy. For example, antelopes can run fast when a lion or cheetah is chasing them. An octopus has eight legs and eyes on each side of its head. When an octopus sees a predator, it shoots out a cloud of ink to confuse it. Then it swims away very fast, leaving its predator surrounded by ink. Attack. Some prey try to frighten their predators away with weapons such as stings, horns, and quills. Bees and wasps sting the predator. Some ants spray the predator with acid. Many animals such as rhinos, antelope, gunsbok, and buffaloes have big pointed horns. They can use their horns as a weapon if pre a predator attacks them. A porcupine spreads out and rattles its quills to make it look and sound more dangerous. If the predator doesn't run away, the porcupine charges backwards and stabs the predator with its quills. The quills often break off, leaving the predator full of painful quills. Activity. Adaptations of prey. Which of these animals use defense as their main method of avoiding predators? First animals say what adaptation or adaptations it has for defense. Which of these animals use the attack as their main method of avoiding predators? For each animal, say what adaptation or adaptations it has for attack. Which animal do you think uses the combination of attack and defense? This is a prey we have not discussed so far. Work with a partner to find out what the adaptations this prey has. Share your information with the class. How did the photograph help me to learn about adaptations of predators and prey? Look what I can do. I can describe adaptations of predator and prey. I can use secondary information sources to research questions. I can group predators and prey according to their adaptations. So that's the end of lesson 6.4. Well, technically this is lesson 6.4. But because this video is already quite long, I'm splitting out the project and the, and the check your progress section of unit six. So thank you and goodbye. Next video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video next about the project and the check your progress section. Thank you and goodbye again. Bye!